What we have here is a reaction profile. It says figure two shows a reaction profile for the reaction of sodium carbonate with hydrochloric acid. And here we go. This is our diagram. What do labels X and Y represent? So X is actually the Y axis. What label is that? So reaction profile basically tells you how energy changes as a reaction progresses. So does it start off high and go low or does it start off low and then go high? So label X here is energy. That's what the Y axis represents. Y is this label here. It's the difference between the energy of the reactants and the energy of the products. So that's actually the energy change of the reaction. The next part says, how does the reaction profile show that the reaction is exothermic? An exothermic reaction is a reaction where energy is released to the surroundings. So the energy of your reactants is higher than the energy of your products because they're losing some of that energy. And eventually when it comes to the end of the reaction, there are a much lower energy level. So this is actually an exothermic reaction because products have a lower energy than the reactants. That's how you get the mark there. 